What is up, everybody? Jeremy Eisenfire here, and welcome back to the channel. And this is going to be my Episode 8 preview breakdown for From Season 2. And here we are, folks, just three episodes left in Season 2, and I have a feeling each one of these episodes is going to pack a very, very wild ride. And I cannot wait to see where this story goes, and really looking forward to see how Season 2 ends. Episode 8 is entitled Forest for the Trees, and the synopsis reads... In pursuit of the truth about the town, Jim and Randall hatch a dangerous plan. Meanwhile, a new form of terror is brewing. And the episode 8 trailer is very interesting as well. It points to a few potential very interesting things happening. And maybe we haven't seen the end of Mr. Smiley after all. The trailer starts off with Jade and Tabitha back at the caves where Victor and Tabitha first made their escape. And clearly, we saw in Episode 7 that Jade and Tabitha are going to be teaming up to try and solve the potential riddle of these symbols that Jade is seeing. And of course, as soon as Tabitha saw the symbols that Jade was writing down in the journal, she instantly recognized them to be the same symbol that she saw down in the cave with Victor. So hopefully we're going to get a return into these caves and maybe get some answers. Anyone who has seen any of the behind-the-scenes feature knows that there is potentially some answers down in these caves that is going to help Jade solve the mystery of that symbol. So I'm pretty sure we are going to see the beginning of this now. We are definitely going to get some type of reveal down in these caves that will help Jade solve this symbol. Jade and Tabitha are at the mouth of the cave, and Tabitha says, that's where I saw your symbol. And Jade says, those things that come out at night are down there as well. And Tabitha says, yes. So at least now, characters are finally starting to share some more information with each other. Tabitha is finally opening up and telling people that the monsters sleep right below them, some information that I think everybody should probably know. But overall, people are finally starting to share information. Up next, we see Boyd arriving at Kenny's doorstep, and this is where the trailer really starts to get interesting. In episode 7, of course, we saw the autopsy take place on Mr. Smiley, where they were able to extract some weird yellow bile from his gallbladder, in the hopes that they could potentially weaponize it, of course. And we hear Boyd suggest to Kenny that they dip some of the bullets in some of this bile, shoot the monsters from a safe distance, and see if the bile is, in fact, a weapon against them. Which is a great idea, of course. It is minimal risk. They can see if this bile really does work without risking anybody's life. And at least this way, if it does work, they would have some type of way of fighting back. At least for a little while, of course. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot of bile that they were able to collect, so it's definitely not endless. So if this is, in fact, a weapon that does work, they are definitely going to have to use it very sparingly and only waste it when they know they can at least get a kill shot. But we'll have to wait and see. And of course, definitely let me know down in the comment section as well, do you think this bile plan will work? Is this a weapon that they will be able to utilize going forward? I have to imagine the bile is going to at least have some type of use going forward. If maybe it doesn't in fact kill the monsters, maybe they could potentially use it as some type of shark repellent. Maybe the bile will give them some type of camouflage against the monsters or something. Maybe they'll stumble upon some other random use for the bile accidentally. But I have a feeling it's going to come into play in one way or another. If it's not a direct weapon, I have a feeling it will have some type of use. Up next, we see Tabitha up at Colony House talking to Victor, and it seems like she's trying to convince Victor to go back to the caves and potentially get some answers. And of course, Victor is very hesitant to do so. Victor tells Tabitha that people shouldn't go looking for answers, and Tabitha replies with, why not? And Victor says, because they usually don't come back. And this has definitely been a theme with Victor up until this point, him being pretty reluctant to share some information, or just flat out scared to share information in some cases. It seemed like when him and Jade were in the car junkyard, Victor was almost afraid to answer certain questions. He was straight up telling Jade that you shouldn't be asking these questions. Almost like Victor was afraid that they were being listened to or something. It seems like Victor is more afraid to share information as opposed to him just not wanting to almost like he knows it's going to lead to something bad. But either way, I really do hope that Victor joins Jade and Tabitha on their trek back to these caves. I have a feeling there's going to be something very important down there that they need to find, and who knows, maybe we can finally get some answers as to what is up with that doll that scared the ever-living daylights out of Victor. Which was the same doll that Jade had a vision of a few episodes prior. So hopefully all three of them make it to the caves, and hopefully they can find some type of clue that will help Jade solve the mystery of these symbols. 
but the trailer ends off with a very interesting scene at the medical clinic. A scene that may even hint at the possible return of one Mr. Smiley. He might not be gone as much as we thought. But we see Christy, Mari, Kenny, and Boyd. And Christy is saying that something is happening downstairs. And Boyd says, if you see anything, come up these stairs, run. So there is something going on down there. It seems like down there is where Smiley's corpse was, and something seems to be happening. And the trailer ends with Boyd descending down the stairs, and he's about to confront whatever is on the other side of this door. And then, boom, the trailer ends. So I cannot wait to see what is going on here. Let me know down in the comment section below, do you think this could potentially be a return of Mr. Smiley, or could this be that quote-unquote new terror that is brewing? Because we did see in the episode synopsis, at one point it says, a new terror is brewing. Could this potentially be the next level of monster being revealed? Could this be whatever is above the monsters? I would love to know what you guys think as well. I get the feeling if it's not the return of Mr. Smiley, this could in fact be the reveal of whatever this new terror that is brewing here in the town. It seems like something else is just around the corner, something that is above the monsters or maybe even more scary than the monsters, and hopefully we get a glimpse of it pretty soon. But the trailer ends there, and I cannot wait to see episode 8. And the episode title, Forest for the Trees, indicates that maybe the faraway trees could come into play at some point in this episode. We haven't seen much faraway tree action this season. And hopefully at some point we see the return of the boy in white. We haven't seen the boy in white at all in season 2 anywhere. He was very active in season 1 and helping some of the survivors when they needed it. But we haven't seen him at all in season 2. Hopefully we get the return of the boy in white and maybe he'll have some type of revelation or some type of information that can help our characters going forward. But that is going to do it for us today, folks. The episode 8 trailer looks very, very interesting, and I cannot wait to see where the story goes from here. We have three episodes left in Season 2, and I definitely get the feeling these last three episodes are going to be the kind of penultimate episodes of the season. I cannot wait to see where it goes. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where Season 2 of From ends off. And will we get a potential glimpse of whatever is above the monsters? We hear Martin say that the monsters are only the tip of the spear. There have been many hints hinting at the monsters only being potential pawns in this whole scheme. So will we potentially get a glimpse of whatever is above the monsters in Season 2? And don't forget to leave a like on your way out, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications to stay up to date on all of our upcoming content as we will be covering all things from. And don't forget to come and hang out with us live every Friday and Monday night for our pre- and after shows where we dive into the latest episodes and the biggest mysteries of From. And definitely come back and hang out with us as soon as Season 2 ends. We will be doing a complete Season 1 rewatch and diving into all of the episodes of Season 1 from start to finish, and seeing if we can pick up on some things that we may have missed the first go around. And as always, I want to thank everybody out there for watching. Keep those tinfoil hats handy, folks, and I will see you on the next one.